Hello everyone! In our last mini tutorial, we automated the steps to open and process a single video file in Handbrake. Today, we are going to take a look at how we can enhance that macro to handle multiple files instead. Now as it turns out, in Handbrake we can add an entire folder full of videos for Handbrake to process. And that is what we're going to do. We are going to put all the videos we want Handbrake to process in the Handbrake input folder and open that folder with Handbrake. And once we have done that, we can see all the video files appear in the drop-down list here in Handbrake. And we will start by making a copy of our original one input file macro to a new one called Handbrake one input folder. Next, we are going to walk the script and comment out the steps that are no longer relevant. This step here, where we enter the right arrow key to select a single file, is no longer needed. We still need the open button, but we no longer need the step to automate the clicking of the start button. So let's quickly do a playback of the macro to see if it is now doing what we want it to do. We can see the macro now opening up Handbrake, clicking on the Cancel button, click on the Open Source button, choose the Work Area folder, select the Handbrake input folder and then click on the Open button. Handbrake picks up all the files from the folder so that you can now choose which ones to process. And that is exactly what we want our macro to do. Now let's take a look at what we need to do next. As you can see, Handbrake reads all the files and puts them in the drop-down list here. Now it is important to note that this list can grow depending on the number of files we have in that folder and the file names are different as well. We need to select each file and then click on the Add to Queue button. And we do this for all the other files in the drop-down list. Finally, when all the files are added to the queue, we open the queue and click on the Start button to start processing all the files in the queue. So let us start automating those steps. First, we need to automate clicking on the drop-down list. But as you can see here, in the Handbrake application, there are many drop-down lists. How do we make sure we click on the right one? To do this, we use the xclick relative command. The xclick relative uses an anchor, which is something that does not change when we run the macro, and then clicks on an area relative to that anchor. Let's see how we do that. After entering the xclick relative command here, I click on the select button to take a screenshot similar to what we did when we used the xclick command. Then I select an area of the screen that I'm interested in, and in this case, it is the title label is what I want to use for my anchor and I capture that and I save the name of that screenshot. Next I go to the visuals tab at the bottom so that I can find the screenshot that I just captured. I open that file and I start marking the anchor location indicated by the green box and the click area indicated by the pink box. So just to reiterate, with xclick relative, I specify an anchor location and then I specify a click location that is relative to that anchor location and xclick relative will click on the click location when the macro is replayed. Let's go back to the application. When we click on the drop down, we will be presented with the list of files. Now we need to automate the selection of each one of those files. We will need a while loop to help us do this. To do a while loop, we need to know how many files there are in the list. 
We also need a current file counter so that we know when we have selected the last file for processing. To do this, we use the store command to store these two values as variables in the macro. Now we can create a while loop and we make sure the loop runs when we still have files to process. Now that we have our while loop, we need to drag the step that clicks on the drop down list into the while loop. If we take a look at the Handbrake application again, when the drop down list is open, the first file is already selected. But we know if we wanted to select the second file, we will need to have an additional step. So we create a condition that if this is not the first file, we will need to press the down arrow once so that we select the next file in the list. So here I create the if condition that checks if the current file is the first file. And if it is not, I will need to press down arrow once with the X type command. And then to select the current file, I will use the X type command to send in the enter key. Now to finish with the loop, we need to increment the current file number by one. And we use the store command to do that. We also need to add one more step into the while loop to click on the add to queue button after we select the file. And we do that with the X click command and select that button from the screenshot that UI vision will take. So our macro looks good now. Let's close off the unneeded windows and handbrake application and let's do a trial run. Handbrake opens, click on the cancel button, click on the open source button, we choose the handbrake input window uh, folder. And we add the first file into the queue. Oh, but notice there is an issue here where we are keep adding, where the macro keeps adding the same file. So we need to stop the script um, and let's take a look at what's the problem here. Let's quit handbrake and let's take a look at the variable tab. Here we can see the values that are stored in our two variables that controls the loop. Notice here that the variable values are stored as strings and not actual numbers. That is why when we added one to the current file variable, it is appended to it like a string and it didn't increment the number as we originally planned. Strings are represented with the double quotes as you can see here. To fix this, we need to use a different command to store a numeric value into a variable. And the command is execute script, where essentially we use JavaScript function called number to return a numeric value to, of the number to be stored into our variable. And we need to do this for both the variables that we use to control the loop as seen here.
And we also need to update the step where, the, where we increment the current file number so that when the macro has iterated through all the files, it will exit the while loop. Let's try our macro again now. So far, the macro is running, selecting the handbrake input folder. It's now selecting the first file, adding that to Q. It's now selecting the second file. Notice how we go down one level, one, one, one number of the file. Add that to the queue. And it should be doing it for the third file. And by the time we reach the third file, the macro would complete running. And now for our final step, we want to automate the macro to click on the Start Queue button so that Handbrake will start processing the queue. And this is similar to what we have previously done before with X Click. And that is all for today, folks. We have seen how we now have a macro that will add an entire folder of videos into Handbrake and then iterate through every single file, adding them to the queue and finally click on the Start Queue button to start the process of converting all the video files. Thank you.